So on yesterday, we were talking about the whole logo situation, man. And uh, like we said, some people had some thoughts about it. We're just going to share one of them right here. Uh, J.A. Bridgeforth, he says, how in the world do they do they be coming up with this list? Happy for everyone that got one, but they left out so many of the top streamers right now. It's crazy. Fanta, Nadex, Kai, they should all have one. And, uh, you know, so many people are missing. Tassino backed it up and he said, did, did Mo Buckets not get one? He streams 2K more than nearly everyone and never says anything bad about the game. Crying emoji. And hey, like, I, you're right about that, man. Like, they did talk about how they do it and how they go about um, choosing and that the people that, that are going to get it, that know they're going to get it, they're going to get it sooner or later, but you know, they just don't do it now. I really don't know how they do it. And like we said, we got to let them do it how they do it. I'm happy for the people that got it. But at the same time, you do raise an eyebrow here and there about what, um, who did get it, who didn't get it. Let me know who y'all think should have gotten one down in the description. I mean, down in the comment section, man. And then before we get started on the video, make sure y'all like the video because every time you like the video, it, it enters you into a drawing to win fifty dollars worth of VC every Friday. If we can get every video over hundred, I mean over ten k views, we're gonna give away two of them things. But we didn't do that, so we're just gonna give away one, and uh, we're gonna give away two today, right after this video. I'm gonna start streaming right after this video. I didn't get to stream yesterday because we didn't do it very long, but yo, we gonna get it. But out of that, all this out of the way, good morning out there in two K land, man. Appreciate y'all coming through, showing some love this morning. Need you guys to hit that like button because every time y'all hit the like button, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted hundred K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Like I said, like the video and comment for your chance to be entered in into the uh drawing for the 50 dollars vc card man uh but up next man the first thing we got today uh we got we got the boy sazio he says i really just i really just did a deep investigation with the 2k community uh real content doesn't matter it's about who's who makes the best bills best uh sigs best jump shot find me a creator who's eating without spamming those vids and how to's I'm waiting. And then Tysino came up and he just says YouTube success is about being smart and playing the algo. When I was when I when I was nobody, I blew up by making tutorial videos on NBA 2K17. I knew it was the only way that I had a chance of getting uh, of getting seen and I have uh, and it gave me a platform to make vids. They're very uh, search terms. Yeah, that's what you got to do, man. You have to come through. And like I said, we're doing this live from the wreck right now, man. You got to you got to do what you got to do, man. You have to you got to do things that are going to get you seen because if you're if you're doing stuff that nobody's searching for, it's going to be real tough uh for you to get seen. So, I can't I can't get mad at anybody that's doing that. Uh up next, we got hey, they showing the grind never stops. And that's absolutely facts, man. Like what you got to do when you when you're doing this YouTube thing, you got to know that the grind never stops. You gotta just come out, do your do your content, and then you let me see. Can I hit that? I'm I'm off. You gotta figure out what your content is first of all. But once you figure that out, then you put it out, and hopefully people will respond to it in a positive way. Sometimes it's gonna be positive. Sometimes it's gonna be negative. But you have to. I just took a terrible shot too, man. Don't judge me. I I was open but sometimes it's gonna be good sometimes it's gonna be bad but that's the one thing that you got to know just like he said the grind never stops big honcho big honcho stuff right there man uh like i said man coming to y'all live from the wreck on this morning man hopefully you guys look at town look they closing out man like what what else can we do what more can i say y'all let me know if y'all like these live from the wreck man or what have you um should I should I continue to do these or do y'all like when I just do them straight up? The boy Power DM says two weeks after the 2K23 uh, lunch. What's your honest opinion? I'm gonna tell y'all what my honest opinion is, bro. I feel like this is probably one of the best 2Ks that I've ever played, if not the best. And but the only problem is it's still one one bad patch away from getting um. From, from being from being pretty bad because everything that was in the game last year the fades the uh the step backs quick drops all that stuff that people hate it uh it, it's still in the game but the only thing that's keeping people in check is the fact that we have that you got the steals and stuff like that we got the steals that are keeping people in check and um and like i said if they change that the game can become very bad very quickly so i just feel like what they're gonna need to do is just hold the fort stay the course let's make sure that we 
keep the game how it is, man. Because like I said, if you're enjoying the game now, then it could look like a far different game. A far different game if they make a change uh, like that because it's so perfectly balanced. And that's why they that's why they fix the thing with the steals. I'm not the steals, I'm sorry. That's why they fixed it. That's why they fixed the thing with the badges and stuff so quickly, bro. They had to. If they hadn't fixed that, do you realize how out of whack the game would be and stuff like that? It would just be, it could be, it could be a terrible situation. And uh, like I said, you're gonna have a whole bunch of unbalanced bills. Fortunately, they got that under wraps before uh everybody before everybody uh got all that badges and stuff and uh and then it also takes it takes a little minute if you come back this one i'm still in there and the, and it takes a little minute to get your tier three badges which would have been the most dangerous badges that would have made everybody uh guys super guys so I, I feel like that's one of those things that they did and uh and doing that making sure that they balance the game out and stuff i just feel like it's it's, it's probably one of the one of the things that they need to be focused on most uh this year but if they keep doing that this could be the best 2k ever uh the boy iq can tame 100 wreck, wreck wins in 30 days for legend legend isn't for the week it ain't for the week man them hundred thousand points ain't for the week either man you know how hard that's gonna be to get those to get those hundred thousand points trades up splash down green bean money team you know how hard that's gonna be to get those uh not only the wreck wins but just a hundred thousand points, like they should have done a hundred thousand, not not just regular points, but like you know added everything together or did like two hundred thousand and made like you know stuff like rebounds and stuff like that count and all that. Because man, I'm telling y'all, it is it's gonna be tough. The average person is not gonna get it, and I think that's that was probably the idea that they don't want the average person to get legend. They want it to be something rare and uh something like that again. Let me get that man. Stop playing with me. Look at that work hard it's getting out there. They wanted to be rare again, and I think that's something that's gonna um that's gonna benefit the game and the community. So when you see a legend this year, you know that you are seeing a legend. Look at these clamps, but look at these clamps. Look at the clamps. That's clamps on Hall of Fame right there, baby. Look at Tanner. Look at look at the movement. Look at the movement. Oh baby, three ball, no good. Let me see if I can steal me another three right here. Nah, Brute, don't shoot that. Trays up. Splash down again. Shooting has gotten a lot, has begun to get a lot easier. Talking about the skill gap, shooting appears to be a lot easier, a lot better. Uh, nobody they didn't have to change anything or anything like that. But the thing that I feel like has happened is people have adapted. We've accepted that you got to shoot threes, uh, that you got to shoot greens and stuff like that. And I think that people have just like it's, instead of being like last year where we could be, you know, kind of messy with it, kind of sloppy with it, we just know, yo, you better, you better. Oh man, he got me. You better you better be on your P's and Q's. And if somebody hits a shot, you know that guy's a shooter shooter, man. So it just is what it is. Town of Trey Ball. Dang! Oh, baby. Okay, that, that counts as a put back, I guess, but you know, it is what it is. Up next, we got my boy Jairus Twin out there, man. Twin out there. Let me get that, man. I can't get it. I gotta get my glove up, man. Uh, I only got it on silver right now. But boy Jairus Twin talking about logo twin in the beer. Let me see if I can get on this. Ram! Couple of pull-ups for the e boy. <laughs> yeah, put Jim Star down in the comment section, man. Jim Stars! And he got his logo right there, man. And he is um I'm I'm big, I'm proud and, and happy for that guy, man, because that's somebody that puts in more work, especially for the big the big men in the game. He puts up more work. Trades up! Splash down, green bean money team. He puts in more work for the uh, big guys than probably anybody in the game. Just, just with trying to show you how to play the game, how to be, how to be a good player, how to uh, be consistent. Tens of thousands in wagers and all that good stuff, man. J, J Twin, a very good guy within the community. And uh, look at that pass, J. Look at, look at. We don't. We. I'm never scared to share the ball, man. J. Twin, a great guy in the community, and uh, you know we love that guy. Uh, wish him all the best. Up next, we got another pillar of the community, iPod King Carter, the the uh, 2K starter. He one of the people that really, like, I, we know that um, we know that Chris Move is the godfather of the whole thing. But iPod King Carter, man, he said knocked out some weekly challenges for my build uh, to get two new perks. We hit level 40 with the gang, uh, W stream, and uh, you know, the blue and purple platform, on the blue and purple platforms. Hey man, you know, it is what it is, bro. He did his thing. Look at that cart out there, boy. Getting the, getting the stuff knocked out. Big shout out to iPod King Carter, somebody that 
that's a pillar in the community and uh, always does this thing. Always positive, but also always very truthful or what have you. And uh, like I said, these dudes is getting blasted, so it really doesn't matter. Man, we play it out. Don't you hate this? Like, let me ask y'all a question because I want to ask y'all this. Don't y'all hate when you play your first guy call timeout to and they didn't let me? Don't you hate when you play your first game in the wreck and it's like you play the you play the uh you play the the, the um you play the the Lakers your first game and then every other game after that you just play dud games, bro. Like I hate that. I, I be want to play comp games all day in the wreck. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you know it's one of those things where. It's like I, you get these over and over. I would I would like them to have like a rent it back button or something in the wreck, you know, something like that. But, you know, it's not going to happen. It is what it is. Up next, the boy Laker fans saying they are probably, uh, what he's talking about is, um, hey, they are probably, he's talking about people complaining about rim running or what have you, right? He says, hey, they probably rim running because you're, because you're on that dick. And you're not giving them no space, so they're gonna go to the rim, and then they scared, and you just try to get plucks and bumps. And then number two, if the other team, if the other team is taking nine baskets going to the rim, uh, and you haven't started, it, it didn't jump in your brain to gap them, or you know give them some space to do something like that, maybe just to see if they can do something. Then uh, that's on you. See, get bigger. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, man. It is. I, I get sick of people talk, trying to tell people how to play the game, and that's why I appreciate Laker fans so much because his whole channel is like, we gonna play, we gonna play, we're gonna play stage, and we gonna play stage the way that we wanna play stage, man. Let me see, can I get this still? Man, they gave me a foul, dang. Um, we gonna play stage. We are gonna play the stage way, stage the way that we want to play stage, man. It's one of those things. Like that's the one thing with 2K. People want to tell everybody how to play, and it's like, like people want, but they want to play exactly how they want to play. So like you got the guys that want to continue to quick drop, continue to fade, continue to zoom zoom, and continue to do all the other stuff, and then, but they want my, they want me to not reach. They want my reaches to be taken away and stuff like that. And I just think that's unfortunate in the 2K community. But I guess it's the same way in the Call of Duty community. We want people to not camp and stuff like that. But I just feel like as long as 2K does not listen to everybody saying what they're saying, I think we're going to be fine with that, man. Um, but I definitely understand what he's saying because people do do that. But I mean, if you're going to get up, if you're going to get up close, like Zar said, if you out here guarding me at 38 feet, and you know, because you know I can shoot the ball, then you gotta give up something. So yeah, in real life and in any basketball game, if you're crowding me, that gives me the opportunity to go by you. And I'm gonna go by you, that's, that's, that just is what it is. I understand it, I get it. I just don't understand why people get so upset when other people play the game the way that, that they wanna play it, that's all. Right, get on that rim, boy. Hey, up next, we got the boy Active Pharaoh talking about a wreck with randoms has to be one of the most frustrating frustrating things. I swear it makes me, I swear it makes me, uh, makes you want to fight. I'm not a hothead. Uh, it's like, oh, let me see what he said. He said, it's like these people just, just okay with losing, shaking my head. Raises all the rich, uh, raises, uh, who raises all these rich thugs that had, has no type of rank. And I feel you on that, bro. Cause like people, he, people, they really do do that. And then they get to talking crazy, crazy in the chat bro like it is insane what people do uh on this game go in there take bad shots after bad shot and then after they do it what they gonna do come in the chat talking crazy so you know it is what it is up next man we just got the community clips man and uh we just gonna go through these joints right quick man we got laker fan laker fan coming through with, with one of his dribbling dribbling you know somebody getting dunked on if it's a laker fan clip bro like let's be real at this point right hey go straight to the rim on that boy ducking on him like that man you know what it is up next and hey, we got my boy lag out one of the best centers in the game could be a first round draft pick once he get it once you know what i'm talking about once he wants to play or whatever he might not he not might not want to play yet but he could be the best center in the league hey do look at that and that's why he could be the best center in the league right there baby that boy shooting that thing from half court like best pop in a that's my dog lag got man love that guy man uh like i said he, he 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 put his heart and soul into every game every hey, hey if you ain't built for it then you just can't go out there just don't go out there and play with him up next current glenn stamina current gen stamina glitch i guess he's asking if this is a stamina glitch no sir you're just dribbling in the backcourt when you dribble in the backcourt when you dribble in the backcourt you don't lose adrenaline 
uh, until you get into the front court. So from what I saw, yeah, you only made two moves when you got across there. So you know it is what it is. Hey, I need all I need is one second. Look at that boy right there, man. Look at that. Hold on one second. We gotta let Gambit take care of that. Look at this. He said all I need is one second. All I need is one second. Is he like Nas or something like that? Get on that rim. Trays up. Green Bean Money Team splash down. That's all I need is one second, man. Hey, up next you got a. Uh, we got uh, what are they talking about? What are they saying? Hold on, I got. I'm, I'm blowing my defensive assignment. I, I am straight blowing my defensive assignments. Y'all see it right now. Bang! He said, "People never talk about. People never talk about what you do great. Had to drop 16 with the unfinished bill, um, bill without missing on unfinished bill without missing in a comp game just to win." Uh, just to win, I didn't miss for seven games. Uh, TNB and this TNB Hondo, but you know he's saying like, man, when you get when you do it, like yeah, people never talk about what you do great. They only gonna talk about the uh, the, the issues that you have. But that's 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 human nature too. We don't remember our successes. We only typically remember our failures. So you know what it is, what it is. Up uh, next, a Duffy Duffy LaFleur with that next gen, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming down, a little dribbling, a little getting him, getting him mixed up or whatever with that, man. Hey, you see, you see it. Trey ball by Tanner. That's good. Yeah, we know the we know the joints now. But hey, look, look at him getting in there in his Duffy one more time. One more time, we about to see what he what he did. Little dribble step back, trays up, fall on the ground. 85%, boy, that fat time right there, 85%. Dang, that's crazy right there. Hey, hard peaks were patched. Hey, hey, that boy, that boy say, I don't care if y'all say peaks was patched. I'm I'm shooting them things, man. Look at that, look at that. Uh, pull up, drink. Can't get mad at it, man. We at half. Uh, uh, give him one more. Give him one more. Oh, hard peak. Pat. Now it is slow as hell, but I guess it is a hard peak. It is what it is. Hey, Kevin. Kevin Cruz said today's video. Uh, we just gonna give him a quick shout out. In today's video, we take a look at how to activate the Harden step back on different joints. We know how to activate it. You need to show us how to hit them shots, my boy. Up next, we got. Look, man. This is hilarious right here. Look, you do something, you die, and then. Hey, I need one of them dummies, my boy. I need, I need one of those dummies right there, man. So I can, so I can do that. Once I die, hey, put them on there. Y'all, look at that. And hit them with that right there. And last but not least, we got one of the greatest clips of all time, man. The Vince Carter joint, bro. Look at this right here. Like, this is when Vince had some hair too, bro. Look at this right here going down there. You can't, you can't have a better dunk. Then when somebody jumps over a seven foot and say, right, it is what it is, man. But like I said, man, appreciate y'all coming through, showing some love, man. Shout out to everybody that has watched the video today. Make sure you like the video. And like I said, comment for your chance to win $50 in VC. I know these are VC intensive times. These boys getting ready to quit. So, you know, it's VC intensive times. We got to make sure that we take care of the people, um, you know, that, that support us, rock with us, and help us out a lot. And y'all are those people. Need y'all. Love each and every last one of y'all. Hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Let's get the week started right. And I'm going to y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.